Hey guys, so welcome to today's tips and tricks video with the Samsung Galaxy S3. So on my last video I showed how you can speed up the Galaxy S3 a little bit and I asked uh, you guys for suggestions on how you can speed it up a little bit more. And I got a guy uh, called Karim Z1982 on YouTube that said that you can go into the settings then application manager and disable some apps and make it run faster. So uh, of course you do know probably that with your Android device you have other apps open up in the background and if you don't close them then they will be there in the background and they can make the device slower so it, to multitask on the Galaxy S3 of course just hold in the home button and you will see all these apps that I've been using uh, right here in the background and if I want to close them all I can just simple tap this little button over there and then when I hold in no recent apps and they also say no recent apps but there are also apps that you have open up in the background and then also if you tap down there you can see active applications even though I didn't open up that app you can see that it, there's some Google search going on there so even though you don't see uh, an active application over here uh, it could be something going on in the background and how can you disable apps how can you disable apps that is running and creeping out in the background? Of course, you can just go to the app section here and you install apps by clicking on the menu key here, tap on you install, and then select the apps you don't want anymore. If you have some weird app in it running. Uh, but then you can also go, as Karim C said, uh, go, to, go to the settings area, scroll down to the application manager, and here you can see all your downloaded apps. <clears throat> so everything that you've downloaded from the Play Store, you can go into an app, and then you can also, uh, if you have an annoying app that shows uh, notifications up here, annoying, you can quickly go in here, uh, tap on show, uh, not showing notifications anymore, and then that app won't show. Let's say it's an app, free app with ads that uh, pops up, you can remove that. <clears throat> but then you also have an interesting section here where you can, of course, disable and uninstall apps over here as well, clear data. Uh, but then also we can, if we scroll one uh, more here, we can see an interesting uh, place where we can see different processors that is running uh, in the background. So this is kind of like uh, on your Windows PC, go to uh, or put, cl clicking, go to the activity manager or uh, press control alt delete, at least on Windows XP. Uh, you can see all the current processors running in the background. This could be so stuff that you don't want to be running in the background. You can see here with my carrier, I have uh, tell it to that's the carrier name it, it is running an antivirus program so of course I don't want to stop this but it's pretty interesting it's sometimes to go in here and see what your carrier has stuffed in uh, you do see I have an anti-loss service so if I lose my device I can track it by GPS and cool things like that but I can also stop these things if I don't want it anymore uh, you can also see Google Maps is running in the background even though I haven't opened this so this is something that you might um, look out for you know if you, if you don't want the people to be spying on you or something uh, you can quickly go in here try to disable stuff just experiment with things and it's also kind of fun because you can see how big um, how big this certain processor is and how long it's been running for so you can see I have Google services here network location service so you can see that I probably have the GPS turned on or something and you can see it's been running for two hours many of these things in the background and you can see I also have S Voice in the background right now, uh, even though uh, I have disabled it. So it's pretty funny how that works. And let's go inside and try to disable use one of these. Let's say S Voice. I mean, I don't even use it. Why would I want to have it? So go to stop. Go and stop that. Seems like it's taking a while. Hmm, interesting. So it's interesting how how Android works. If you want to have full 100% control, do you know any specific app to you know really have 100% control of these apps or uh, these processors running in the background? Please let me know about that because that would be fun. Because I don't even use S Voice. I don't want to have a processor of S Voice running in the background. Uh, but if you have an app that's running in the background, most of the times you can just go to the multitasking area and swipe it and remove it. But if it's a really an annoying app, of course you should just go to that app over here and, and you install it. Uh, but I think it's really good to educate yourself to see w what is going on in the background. If you really want to know uh, what your phone is doing when you are just being on the lock screen, but of course things is going on in the background all the time, and I think it's 
could, could be interesting to see here. Uh, but if you do know any specific app uh, to handle the, the processors and everything that's going on inside of the um, inside of the Android smartphone, please let me know that in the comment section down below. And if you do have any favorite tips and tricks, please let me know in the comment section down below and I might do a video about it and give credits to you. So yeah, until next time, just have an awesome day.